Nomothetic and ideographic are terms used by Neo-Kantian philosopher Wilhelm Windelband to describe two distinct approaches to knowledge, each one corresponding to a different intellectual tendency, and each one corresponding to a different branch of academe. Nomothetic is based on what Kant described as a tendency to generalize, and is typical for the natural sciences. It describes the effort to derive laws that explain types or categories of objective phenomena, in general. Ideographic is based on what Kant described as a tendency to specify, and is typical for the humanities. It describes the effort to understand the meaning of contingent, unique, and often cultural or subjective phenomena. Topic use in the social sciences The problem of whether to use nomothetic or ideographic approaches is most sharply felt in the social sciences, whose subject are unique individuals ideographic perspective, but who have certain general properties or behave according to general rules nomothetic perspective. Often, nomothetic approaches are quantitative, and ideographic approaches are qualitative, although the personal questionnaire developed by M. B. Shapiro, and its further developments e Discand scale, are both quantitative and ideographic. Personal cognition D. A. Booth, is ideographic, qualitative and quantitative, using the individual's own narrative of action within situation to scale the ongoing biosocial cognitive processes in units of discrimination from norm with M. T. Connor 1986, R. P. J. Freeman 1993 and O. Sharp 2005. In psychology, ideographic describes the study of the individual, who is seen as a unique agent with a unique life history, with properties setting him, her apart from other individuals see ideographic image. A common method to study these unique characteristics is an auto biography, i.e. a narrative that recounts the unique sequence of events that made the person who she is. Nomothetic describes the study of classes or cohorts of individuals. Here the subject is seen as an exemplar of a population and their corresponding personality traits and behaviors. The terms ideographic and nomothetic were introduced to American psychology by Gordon Allport in 1937. Theodore Millen 1995 states that when spotting and diagnosing personality disorders, first we start with the nomothetic perspective and look for various general scientific laws, then when you believe you have a disorder, you switch your view to the ideographic perspective to focus on the specific individual and his or her unique traits. In sociology, the nomothetic model tries to find independent variables that account for the variations in a given phenomenon e.g. What is the relationship between timing, frequency of childbirth and education? Nomothetic explanations are probabilistic and usually incomplete. The ideographic model focuses on a complete, in-depth understanding of a single case, e.g. Why do I not have any children? In anthropology, ideographic describes the study of a group, seen as an entity, with specific properties that set it apart from other groups. Nomothetic refers to the use of generalization rather than specific properties in the same context. Topic references Cohn, J.D. 1986. Ideographic, Nomothetic, and Related Perspectives in Behavioral Assessment, in, R. O. Nelson and S. C. Hayes, eds. Conceptual Foundations of Behavioral Assessment, pp. 111-128. New York, Guilford. Millen, Theodore, with Roger D. Davis, 1995. Disorders of Personality, DSMIV and Beyond, 2nd ed. New York, John Wiley & Sons. ISBN 978-0471011866 Tomei, H. 1999. The Nomothetic Ideographic Issue, Some Roots and Recent Trends, International Journal of Group Tensions, 28 187-215. 